Korea's Ebola support team has returned from its one-month mission in Sierra Leone. It's been a significant and successful experience for the volunteers, but with the virus still present, medical experts have issued a one-year anniversary report that slams the international community for its slow response. Kwon Soa has this report. It's been roughly a year since the deadliest Ebola epidemic in history broke out in West Africa. Countries around the world, including Korea, have contributed to the effort to contain the virus. Korea sent medical teams to Sierra Leone, one of the three countries most affected by the virus. It was the first time the country dispatched medical teams to an epidemic of this size. A total of three teams of volunteer doctors and nurses embarked on roughly one-month missions after prior training sessions in England. All members returned home safe, though there was a close call when a rescue worker was pricked by a needle carrying a patient's blood. Tests revealed the worker did not contract the virus. Although the decreasing number of new Ebola patients has also reduced the need for international staff, the fight is not over yet. In Liberia, the first case in around three weeks has officials concerned. 42 days without an Ebola case would have declared the country virus-free. A leading charity group, Paris-based Doctors Without Borders, released a one-year anniversary report on Monday, saying the epidemic could have been contained much earlier. The report criticized the international community, including the World Health Organization, for its slow response. The crisis was declared three months after the first reports of Ebola outbreaks. The charity also blamed local governments for downplaying the situation and not sharing significant data with their organization, suggesting a better controlled crisis could have shrunk the death toll, which currently stands at over 10,000. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.